programming is brought to you by Local Video Marketing. In association with Coach Chick's Mastermind Group and CoachChick.com. Dave Schmidt's resistancebandtraining.com. Thanks for joining me today. You know, I know a lot of you like to lift weights, but I've found over the years that lifting weights alone is not going to significantly impact my body's ability to look, feel, and move its best. Matter of fact, I want to take you through six things today that the, a resistance band like this is going to allow you to do to influence that part of looking, feeling, and moving great that free weights simply can't. Let me take you through all six of those right now. Guys, it's pretty simple. A band is pliable and very flexible. Exactly what your muscles are supposed to be and your joints are supposed to be. So as a result, I can take my joints, specifically my hips, shoulders, ankles, and put them into positions and allow myself to stretch and take myself through ranges of motion that don't always get used on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, in order to keep your body looking and feeling and moving great, you're going to have to keep your mobility. The best way to go ahead and lengthen out and mobilize your joints and muscles is to go ahead and stretch them where they normally don't go. A band will allow you to go ahead and do that very easily. It also, because of its light weight, will allow you to go ahead and easily use it in any position, standing, lying down, whatever you want. Free weight, because it's gravity dependent, will not allow you to go ahead and do that. Plus a free weight is not gonna allow you to take your body into all different directions and positions. Stretching with bands, guys, is gonna go a long ways in helping you look, feel, and move your best. And because of the pliability of the band, and the resistance that comes with it, it's a great way to go ahead and stretch. Bands are gonna be more joint friendly to your body. Squatting is a perfect example of what I mean by that. If you take a dumbbell as an example and you go ahead and place it up and you go into doing your squat, you can do it in an asymmetrical load or you can squat in this position. The fact of the matter is a dumbbell is only gonna allow you to train in a vertical position or a gravity dependent position. Now, taking a resistance band, it's gonna allow you to go ahead and train in that same vertical position, but it's also gonna provide you a resistance that's more accommodating and more joint friendly because it's going to change resistance based on where you are in your movement pattern. So not only can you train in the vertical position, but the resistance alone is gonna be more accommodating and more comfortable to your joints. However, if vertical loading of your squat doesn't work for you because of joint related issues, or you just wanna change a pace, you can also go ahead and work on squatting with a horizontal force. Now this is not gonna compress your joints, your spine's not gonna be loaded, and a result of that, it's gonna be a much more joint friendly position and way to exercise using your squat. And you're gonna strength train your glute muscles in a different way because the force is coming at you from a different direction. Squatting is just one example of how bands are gonna allow you to go ahead and train your body without beating up your joints. It's pretty important that we keep our body functioning as a complete unit. And what I mean by that is making sure that the body's movement patterns are coordinated together. Very often when you lift with exercise machines or free weights, you're isolating a movement pattern so you're not utilizing the whole body but instead just isolating in on that specific muscle group. For instance, a, a row is a perfect example. If I go ahead and I row in this position, I'm going to only use the shoulder or the back muscles to do the movement. However, I want to integrate my entire body so my glutes and my shoulder blades and my trunk all start working together. By going into a simple squat row or a step and row, 
I now learn how to coordinate movements together, which ultimately is gonna allow me to move better as well as feel better because I'm now making more joints and more muscles do the same activity, all right? Same thing can be said using bands for locomotion. And once again, hooking the bands up in a horizontal vector, you can go ahead and work on simple coordination of lunge patterns or walking patterns, skipping patterns, back pedal, any kind of locomotion movement you want. Face it guys, walking and running is how our body was designed. And the more we can train that entire unit, the better it's gonna perform and the better it's gonna feel and look and move. Free weights simply don't allow us to go ahead and work on coordinating movements patterns together. And it definitely doesn't allow us to work on the key movements that our body was designed around, which is locomotion. This body of ours is a three-dimensional structure, which means that it can move in three different patterns of movement. Every joint, every muscle in your body has the ability to move three different ways. However, if we don't train it to move all three ways, we're going to lose the ability to do that. And when I say lose the ability, what I mean is we're gonna get stiff and immobile because we never move in those directions. It's very consistent with always sitting around. You know, as we get older, we become more complacent. Our occupations allow us to, or make us have to sit around more and be following the same movement patterns all the time. Our exercise program doesn't have to do that, especially if you're training with bands. A chest press is a perfect example of, an exa of a way to train your body in multiple planes, or what we call become 3D strong, all right? One way is to go ahead and just work at simple straight ahead pushing, all right? You can now go ahead and go into a staggered position and go into a push. You can now turn your body and go into a rotational push, and if you want, you can drop into a squat and come up into a squatting push. You can even drop into a squat and move into a push like that. The point is, as you can see, I can train in multiple planes, multiple ways, doing the same pattern of movement. You simply can't do that with a free weight because of its gravity dependent nature and the inability for it to move in multiple planes. Keeping our body reactively quick is going to be the key to us staying not only agile and coordinated on our feet, but making sure we're not sustaining falls. It's also going to be what gets us out of trouble when those awkward movements unexpectedly pop up. How do you train to keep that coordination and that muscle response? Very simple. You work at different speeds of exercise when you're training. As an example of doing a chest press, the bands, because of its ascending band resistance, allows me to go ahead and move faster because the, move, the resistance at this point is going to be easier than the resistance at this point. Therefore, I can increase momentum and get my body moving faster. The same thing can be said if we do running movements. The band at this position is going to be less, so I can learn how to accelerate my movement out and work on speed. Now, as you're older, that may not seem as important, but it really is. Because your ability to keep your muscles responding quickly at a specific time and, and, and situation is going to allow you to go ahead and keep yourself on your feet and more balanced. And as we get older, we know that age is going to take away our response time. So if our exercise program is only using free weights that are trained at the same speed in the same pattern, we're not able to work on movement or more importantly, muscle response time. So therefore, bands are going to allow us to not only increase our speed, train speed, but that increasing in training speed is going to allow us to increase our muscle response time, which is going to go a long ways in keeping you safe when awkward movements unexpectedly pop up. Hey guys, thanks for taking the time to go ahead and watch my video on the six ways that bands can influence how you look, feel, and move more so than weights. Now, don't stop there. Scale on down, click on the button below that allows you to pick up my 20 band training resources that are going to go ahead and allow you to learn even more about how this simple continuous loop band can make your body not only look and feel great, but it's also going to get you moving great, which ultimately, guys, is the key to us going ahead and sustaining and keeping our bodies functioning the way we want so we can do anything we want.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We thank you all very much. Hey, Pat Trick, have you ever heard of box hockey? Box hockey. Why? Yes, of course. Its origin is unknown, but we know it has been played since way back in the 19th century. That's right, and it's been played recreationally, and clubs way back when also held huge tournaments. Well, friends, would you like to see a sample? Oh, yes, yes. The first thing you might notice is that kids can have a ton of fun. You might also notice that it's a real workout as the kids battle non-stop for that puck. I wonder if minds are racing right now with viewers thinking about an entire team competing. Or maybe using the game at get-togethers like birthday parties and cookouts. Or even holding tournaments, maybe even as fundraisers. Ah, but did you know that? Coach Chick has another great idea when it comes to playing that game. Yup. Parents are always asking him how they can get their kids to be more aggressive, and he's seen box hockey work in his summer hockey schools. Yes, the kids really do battle, and they don't want to lose. Just take a look at what he means. Man, those kids don't want to lose. Well, you can imagine how excited Coach Chick was when he discovered he could become affiliated with a company that produces the beautiful model shown in that video. And, we suspect you, will be interested in knowing, how you can get your very own. Just click on the link, right below, and it will take you right to the company website. Yes, click that link, right down there, to get your very own. Well, we are out of here. Actually, I am going to play box hockey, right now. Now wanna present drill once again one. It starts with red player number one. He skates like this and he resize the pass from the player number two. Now he plays the pass here down. He looks for a free space and he resize the pass back and he shoots. After he shoot it, defender plays him a pass. He plays him a pass and he starts. He resets the pass back. Now what we want to see, defender or forward num number one scuts over, defender skates like this and he plays a pass like this to the player number five and he resets his pass back. Now we have player number five in the front of the net, shot, Defender goes backwards, forward skates like this, and he receives a pass from the player number six, and we have your beautiful situation once again one. Now we have next drill, once again one, defender num number one plays a pass to the forward num number one, he skates like this, forward backwards, he receives a pass, and he takes a shot. After this, he goes behind the net. He has some pucks. Player number three starts like this. He receives this pass. Now, player number one skates like this, and he receives a pass. After this situation, what we wanna see, 
we want to see player number one going on the defender number four from the other side after is this drill done the forward takes a puck behind the net he takes a puck he goes with puck this forward skates in the front of the net he plays a pass and he shoots that's the next drill once again one next drill is two against two the player num number two in the corner the red one plays a big pass or sh should it pass on the defender and now we have options this player can for example skates like this he can play the pass on the player number one or of course he can play the pass back on the D both players in the front of the net and shot now what we wanted we have two options of course we can skate right now two against one on this side or we can do it so that this defender goes backwards on the blue line now he can receive a pass from this group he can go behind the net we can bring these players down cross look for a free space maybe pass here pass back pass here and we have here another D on this side and we have two against one as soon as it's done here is a D D in the front two forwards here he receives a pass and he shoots next drill that I'm gonna do tonight will, will be that one that defenders on both sides goes and takes a shot they take a shot defender goes like this defender goes goes like this now the red player number one plays a pass on the D he goes like this players player number two goes like that he can play to him now we have two players going two against one as soon as they go defender is here and this forward goes once again one so we have two against one and once again one after was it done it should be very very quickly defender takes a puck behind the net this forward skates like this and he receives a pass now here is done they go on this side defender goes in this side now forward plays to this defender he can play to him or to him and now we have three forwards going three against one it's done the job is done now defender in the front of the net two players one forward takes a puck plays a pass on this D he takes a shot and it's all it's very creative drill once one to one and three against one plus defender the final drill that I'm gonna show you is drill two against one and three against one that we are gonna do tonight defender number one comes with a puck and he takes a shot after he took a shot he goes here now we have here forward starting he plays a pass they just cross beautiful situation two against one very quickly one after that defender goes this way and we have here in in the zone three against one as soon as it's done the forwards skates this way this way this way of course a lot of creativity a lot of speed and now defender comes with a puck like this 
his cuts of course options he can play pass to him he can play it back they can cross they can change the sides he can play it here he can play it here doesn't matter and we have here three against one don't forget we need creative players you are creative coaches and let the players be creative because we want to see the players creativity in the game thank you very much and i wish you very nice practices Dennis Chigas Olas, The Nature of Our Game, ranks with other high-level essays, authored by the likes of Gladwell, Percival, and Coyle. It's an in-depth study of our game, it's about the challenges players face in the heat of battle, and it's about the things that influence the way players need to train, both off, and on the ice. Get it now, and be well armed, to answer almost any question, that arises about our game. Hi there, it's Kim Lucard, Hockey Mom RD, and today is the letter O, and you guessed it, I'm talking about oranges. In the top part of my picture, you will see this plain old whole oranges. Now, if you look closely at this orange right here, you'll see a sticker label that you can use when you are picking out your oranges. If you would like organic oranges and they're not already labeled on the packages, you can look for a number nine on the label and that will let you know that you're picking out organic oranges. Each orange is going to vary in size and you will get between six and ten slices from each orange. Each orange also contains about four tablespoons of juice and that juice can be used as very quick energy in between periods in a hockey game. So when you take a bite of an orange slice in between your games, you want to make sure that your orange slice looks like this. See? You just put it in your mouth, make it like an orange smile, and squeeze out the juice. You don't eat any of the pulp. The pulp has fiber in it, and that can cause some stomach distress. So if your orange slice comes out like this, you've ingested the whole orange slice, juice and fiber, and it might give you a little bit of stomach cramping or a little bit of upset stomach when you get back on the ice for your second or third period. Go make it a great day, happy skating, and come back next week for the letter P. This is Kim Lucard, Hockey Mom RD. Vertical core training, here we are. Vertical core, horizontal. Go for it, guys. Nice, nice. Good challenge right there, nice. Good work, guys. Let's see this. Nice position right there, that's wonderful. Wonderful there, good work, you guys. A little bit of a parachute. Good work, nice. Any partner drills here? You want Mike to trade a partner? Yeah. Mike. Here we go, I got it, Jenny. I got it, I got it. Here we go. Nice partner, nice. That's good, you guys. Love that, love that. Good challenge. Nice.
Now this one is both legs up, so it's a real focus on the quadratus lumborum. I don't think we need this one, Jenny, for a sign. We'll just okay. go with that, okay? That's a nice, think about your hips. Hips should be straight. That's it, guys. Good work. Good work, ladies. So real focus on the quadratus lumborum, a secondary focus on the groin. Maybe we could say that. Um, a major focus on the quadratus lumborum and a, a secondary focus on the groin. But still, but still important for gr uh, groin injury prevention. Good. Thanks, Jenny. Right on. Welcome to the Puck Drops Here Podcast. I'm your host, John Crawford, along with my brother, Howie. Howdy, howdy. He did it right. Here for episode number 21 of the Puck Drops. I did it right? Podcast. Yeah, you did it right. You looked, you turned Sweet. the right way that time. <laughs> How you been? How's it going? Uh, it's uh blistering cold here and we're supposed to get like seven inches of snow today uh it was all-star weekend all-star weekend has been uh, did you get to see any of it no i didn't really care because as, as soon as i saw the scores it was like i don't care yeah i know <laughs> i know it's i mean no no one tries anyway i mean it's no more than just it, it's just like a bunch of guys just getting together and screwing around basically is what <laughs> it is. It's basically what it is, yeah. So it's yeah. like why why watch it? It's it's really more for that city. So you can go and pay a ticket and go see all those stars in one place. I guess. Yeah, but I don't it, know. but it's it's not the same though now without the celebrity coaches. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I watched it. It was fun. Um, the central beat. I up still on like. I, I would still like them. I would still like to see. Although now, you really can't do it anymore because they don't really, in reality, exist anymore. But have an all goon game. Have a what game? All goons. Oh, an all good game. Just yeah, an all good game. Just fights. Just but just a the game way the of league is now, penalty minutes. Just, <laughs> yeah, this it, is the way the league is now. You 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 can't do that. No, you can't. There's just really no. There's there's no enforcers anymore, and that's what's sad. Yeah, yeah. It, the, uh, the game is different now. It's, it's changed. You know. Yeah. Whether it's for the better, I I don't know. I I, I don't know, maybe it's old, more old more old school. I like, but I like having the enforcer in the game. I do too. I I think it was more of a uh, it was more of a defensive game back then. The scores were low and. Yeah, which which I prefer it that way. I want to. Yeah, yeah. And nowadays, you have I mean, to have fast skaters, and you have to have goal scorers. Or yeah, I mean, for me to enjoy a high scoring game, it's got to be lopsided, where one team is just you know they're up eight nothing. Uh, like uh, the Central Division did to Pacific Division yesterday. 
Yeah. yeah. I mean, that, <laughs> like, I, like that. <laughs> I, I, don't, I, I don't mind it when it's completely lopsided, mm. but if it's, uh, if it's going to be a high score, I'd rather see it one way. Yeah. Just have a team just basically get a, just wiped off the ice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yep. Yeah, so we had the All Star Weekend. Um, um, I guess we'll wrap it up here. How if you have nothing else? No, nope, I'm uh, good. All right. Until next time, next week. We bid you all a fine. I do. Okay. programming is brought to you by local video marketing in association with coach chicks mastermind group and coachchick.com